and welcome back to Friday Friday. I'm Shannon Smith, concept designer at FSJ. And today I have, once again, an awesome guest here. Why don't you go ahead and, <laughs> this is Laura. <laughs> That's me. Hi everybody, Laura Murray here to join you for the finale of the launch party. Thank you so much for going along with us for the last two weeks and sharing all of your projects with hashtag FSJ all day. We wanna let you know that today is pre-recorded. Um, because of course we have a big event. I don't know if you've heard, we've got FSJ live tomorrow to present our Journey Holidays catalog, which uh, the catalog itself goes live on August 1st. So we're preparing for that, which means we pre-recorded Friday Friday for you today. So do know that we'll be tuning in at three o'clock on Friday to see all of your comments. And of course, we'll go back and answer any of your questions. We're just not live quite yet. So thank you so much for joining us. Shannon, what kind of project do we have today? Well, you know, we've been highlighting different things from different sections of the catalog. And today we are going to highlight a, uh, my favorite, my favorite section of the catalog, which is the celebration section. And we are going to use this fun stamp set, birthday candles. This is one of my favorites. You can see it's a two-step stamp. You can see all the different ways you can use the candle. And we will do that in just a moment. We are also going to do something I haven't done before today. I actually had not ever made a Z fold card and I thought that that would look really cute with this set. So I decided to do something new in the spirit of Friday Friday. So bear with me, we'll do this together. All right, so first off, let's take out our awesome scoring board. How many of you have this and love this? I do, I do. Both hands up, yay! <laughs> it's a great tool, I'm so glad we added it this year. This is a lot of fun, and this is kind of a funny little detail, but it is one of my favorite things. If you are prone to misplacing things, you will love this. <gasps> so the crease, the little tool, the little um, score tool, fits right in the bottom of your scoring board. Love that. Okay. So I cut Limeade cardstock to eight inches by four and a half. And then I scored it at four and one eighth. And one other thing I will say, if you are a little challenged with the scoreboard and you have a hard time staying in the grooves, kind of just go back and forth a little bit right at the top before you pull your line down. And just don't try to go too fast. That might be where you're running into issues. And then I did it again at the six inch mark. And we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. And then I took Turbo Teal. And that one is cut at seven and um, three quarters by four and one quarter. And then that one is scored at the four inch mark. And then at the five and seven eighths mark. So those are ready to go. And then there's two more pieces, but they're cut the very same way and scored the very same way. So I'm just gonna show you one of those. And they are one and a quarter inch by seven and three quarters. And actually I'm gonna flip it this way. They are scored at the four inch mark. And then it's scored again at the uh, five and seven eighths. So now that we've got all of the bones of this, we can get started on the next part. I think we'll go ahead and stamp first. Let's go ahead and stamp with our two st stamp. I think we'll choose the polka dots for this one. Does it matter which one you do first when you do uh, either the filler pattern or the outline? I think it's more preference. For me, I think it's easier to put the outline on after. So we're gonna use some of our citrus cooler. So a funny thing, as you know, Laura, here we are at the journey station. It's hot, it's crazy, but we're making Christmas cards. We're doing all kinds of holidays. And so when I was making this card, I was inspired by that because my little boy's birthday isn't even right away. His birthday isn't even until New Year's Eve. But I was thinking about it as I was making Christmas cards. I know that sounds kind of a, like a funny thing, but I relate the two together because like I said, his birthday's on 
New Year's Eve. I think I said that. And um, this year, Benji is turning 10. He's going to be double digits. Uh-oh. So we <laughs> got to do it upright right this there. year. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking of a way to make a really fun card to celebrate that. Okay, so you see I've got my pattern down. And now I've got my outline. And the nice thing about our stamps, I should have showed you before I inked it, is that they are indexed, which makes two-step stamping way easier. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and line that up. And before I even lift that up, I want you to know it's okay if it's not perfectly lined up. As you can see, it's <laughs> not perfect. you got it perfect. I know, I got the disclaimer in there before <laughs> we lifted it up. But no, I think it stresses people out when they're doing two-step stamping. But you know, our two-step stamps, are made, they're designed so that they can be off a little bit. They're designed so that it's more loose. And I think that's absolutely fine. I think it's cute. So I'm not gonna stamp all of them. I do have a few of these already cut out. So we will just set those on there. Orange happens to be Benji's favorite color. Okay, so you did see we have dyes. So that makes cutting out those candles very nice. So let's go ahead and assemble the card. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and crease all the creases. Now it's called the Z-fold card for a reason because when you crease it, you're gonna crease it in a Z pattern. Perfect. So of course we learned earlier in the launch party that celebrations is the biggest section of the catalog. Hello. So that means that all of those little stamp sets, um, they can hold you over all year long. There's plenty in that section. That is one packed section. There's so many fun things in there. Okay. So now let's go ahead and adhere these together. We'll just use our tape runner. Of course, my little boy just turned one. So Your little boy is so cute. <laughs> Thank you. I showed him to you guys on Wednesday along with my, with my charming husband who loves to grill. I don't know how to cook, but that's beside the point. <laughs> the, <laughs> the point here today is that if I were to do a build a candle card, I would really only need like one candle. <laughs> I'd be good to go. <laughs> You'd be good to go. You could practice until you had that thing completely. I could line, line up. it up perfectly. <laughs> Yep, not about to do that for 10 candles. <laughs> okay, so now we've got this guy ready to go. So the way I'm gonna go ahead and attach these is I'm just gonna staple them. I have it on there straight. Okay, so that guy's ready to go and now you can kind of see how fun it's gonna be. Let's go ahead and crease this one so we can attach them together. can see how the crease tool really comes in handy for cards like this. Absolutely. It is a must have. And you can see the Z pattern. I guess, yeah, that's the Z pattern. Okay. So I'm just gonna put some white liner on this. That's probably your best bet for adhesive on this. Okay, now the white liner tape is awesome and it's very sticky, so you kind of want to make sure you know you're, you're pretty much committed when, once you get it on there. Let's put it that way. Okay, so I think I put this on backwards. I did do that. Give me just one second. 
Okay, so when you put it together, you're gonna want your long part to go on the short part. And we're gonna go ahead and staple that. Here we go, so you can see how it pops. All right, so now we can go ahead and we can stick our candles on there how we want them. And then we've got our little sentiment that we put on there. You can fluff it all up. I put a bunch of candles back here. Let's go ahead and look at the finished project. So here it is. How many candles are there? Are there only five candles? No, there's more. Surprise! Surprise, there's all 10 of those candles and you know they're gonna count every single candle on there. So that much fun. Hard. Think of all the possibilities of these cards. There are so many fun things you can do. And with this just fun dimension, you can just pop out so much. Very cute. Loved it, thank you so much. So thanks everybody, that's it for the lunch party. We want to keep seeing your projects. Do share the, uh, the birthday candle set if you happen to get that one. And of course, we love our pattern papers, all of the new products, and let us know if you use that scoreboard as well. So thank you so much for joining us. Have a great weekend. All right, so I hope that you will take this idea and that you will make your own cards with this. Think of all of the fun stamp sets that you can use with this particular fold. I hope that you will upload those so that we can all see them. And I hope that you will join me again for Tri-Day Friday next week. Thanks so much.